In this troubleshooting video, we have determined that the actuator arm is working correctly and we have a single gate set up. If you have an electric gate lock on your setup, then this step will not work for you. We are going to try running the arm out of MTB, which is usually used for a double gate setup. Currently your actuator arm will be wired in here on MTA on the control board. You will need to remove the arm cables from MTA and wire them into MTB on the left side here. You will need to make sure all dip switches in the middle of the control board are switched off or are in the down position as noted here. Then down in the bottom right corner of the control board, all cables wired into one side will need to be removed and wired over into two side. One side's here, we need to bring the cables over and wire them into two side. Now try activating your gate to see if it works. If it works, then you can switch your auto close back on. These are on your dip switch settings seven and or eight, if you had them on previously. Please note, that if you have auto close set and the component that failed on the control board hasn't completely failed and is still receiving a little power, then your auto close will take longer to activate. If however, the component has completely failed, then your auto close will work as normal. If your gate still doesn't work after this troubleshooting, then you may need to contact our office for further assistance. If the gate works a few times, then stops working, there may be more of an issue with the actuator arm or cable that you cannot see. However, if the gate works for a few days set up like this, it will be perfectly fine for you to run the system as is.